Hey guys, it's Danny. Today it's Sunday. Sadly, my boyfriend needed to go to work. I did all of my chores. I already pre-recorded some videos, so I'm okay with uploading. So today I decided to clean my greenhouse. Every month I do a major cleanup of the greenhouse and I thought I should take you along so you see how the process is going. Also, what products I use because I do tend to clean very well and sterilize everything, particularly with the sarium thing that I have. I also bought some things and I have some ideas to redecorate some stuff so I'm really excited for that but first we need to clean up because things are super messy so let's see how many things I can do today it's currently 10 40 hopefully we'll finish today there are some things which I will not do today but let's get to it now first thing we're gonna do is clean the shelves because whatever falls on the shelves or actually from the shelves on the floor will get swiped later so we're gonna start with the top shelves I have some dead flowers and all of that that I need to clean up so I hope you'll tag along and let's get started. So first thing we'll do is remove the orchids that I have on the top shelf. We'll put them on the floor and clean the shelf. So the shelf is cleared, but as you can see, I have some dried flowers and buds and leaves and so on. So what I keep in the greenhouse, and it's actually very useful, is something like this. It's a little broom with a little, I don't know how you call this. Obviously, you can find something like this at any grocery shop or home improvement store for that matter. So instead of dropping everything on the floor, I just do this and pretty much all the big debris are gone. The next thing I do is remove the first layer of dust and the thickest one with a little cloth like this. I only use water for this step and then we're gonna use the disinfectant. And of course I use a chair because I'm a tiny little person. This thing got kind of dirty, so it's time to rinse it off at the sink and continue doing the entire shelf. Okay, so the thick layer of dust is now gone, time to disinfect. I use paper towels and a window cleaner actually. I'm not looking for the best disinfectant ever because I don't spill water on my shelves, but I do want to use something more than water. So my shelf is all cleaned up right now, it's time to put the orchids back on and I actually like doing this because I can see my orchids from all sides. Usually I take good looks at them almost every day but once a month I want to give a close look and inspection on all sides of the orchids. Okay, so one shelf is done, four or actually five more to go, we're just gonna do the very same thing but these shelves are a little bit bigger than the other ones. They'll take a bit more time, so let's get to work. I'm starting to think putting orchids on the floor is not a good idea. Huh. My Jumbo Puff is starting to flower, but has no fragrance yet. Are you fragrant? No, nothing. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so the shelves are all clean, both these and these ones. I have to say this is my least favorite part because my back does not appreciate all of this, putting our kids down, putting them up and so on. Okay, now I have to do the very same thing to my coffee table. And also we need to go to the sink and again, do the very same thing. Plus some decluttering. This is usually where I film where I do stuff and it always gets cluttered. I always kind of need it, but I have an idea for another filming space. So let's get this done and arrange the filming space as well. Okay, so what we have here is my humidifier and I have a problem. Now I can clean that part inside. What I cannot clean is inside of this. And do you see what I have here? It's just slimy and I don't know what these are, algae, all sorts of deposits. I cannot get this out. I think it is glued. See, it looks a bit glued. And in the instructions, it doesn't say anything about removing this part. So either I break it to clean it and possibly glue it back in because there's no screws anywhere. Either, you know, I just give up the humidifier right now, see if I need it. I didn't really need it lately. 
Anyway, this thing is out of use. I'm not gonna throw it away just yet. Gotta keep it somewhere in one of my closets. I am able to clean that, but I'm not able to clean inside. It looks bleh. I don't wanna inhale the fog this thing produces with those things inside. So he's on standby right now. I also found this thing around and I can use it as a background. It extends. It's actually a light box. If you know photography, you know what that is. I'm using it for filming. I can use it for photography as well. Problem is it's taking space here where I keep some stuff. So this will go away, it will be placed somewhere else, but the countertop is decluttered, we can now clean it. Okay, now this looks a little better. I need two holders for my stuff. I like to pick them up from here, but one is not enough. Also, it's a sort of a basket and everything pokes out. So I need to go to a store with cheap stuff, buy myself two or even three holders and just put all of the tags, pruners, scissors, whatever I need and I use daily or a few times per week within reach arranged properly. So that's a project for the future. Now it's time to do the sink, which is a mess. And by the way, do you see that little shipwreck right there? Yeah, I found it in the store, I saw it, I kind of liked it. So I don't know why I just purchased it, it was 2 euros. Already she is hydrated, you cannot believe how dehydrated this racket is, so I'm just gonna put her on one of the shelves and we'll start to clean up the sink. Okay, so the sink area gets cleaned pretty often because it gets dirty pretty often. And I'm using some bathroom cleaner that it's supposed to kill bacteria and all of those nasty things. So what I do is get a sponge, put some of this substance and then scrub away. Okay, so the good news is that the shelving area, including the kitchen, well, sink area is done. Now it's time to do the floor area and sadly there's a lot of stuff on the floor, orchids need to be moved and things will need to be done in sections. But I want to do this before lunchtime, so let's see if we can do it. I've already did that section over there, but flowers kept falling, so I need to swipe again. I don't need to mop, so that's a good thing. And P.S. the shelves that you see are the shelves from the mini greenhouse. I disassembled it and decided to do this little setup and I'm just saying now one of the legs is crooked. I need to fix that. I am planning to do some benches on my shelving area or underneath my shelving area as well. I looked at some materials, calculated the price and it shall be done somewhere in the future because I just hate moving everything around and it doesn't look all that pretty. If I do some benches, the orchids will be higher up, so closer to the light. It's gonna be better, look better and easier to clean because I will not have to move everything. Alrighty, so let's get to it. The first thing I'm gonna do is swipe and then I'm gonna mop. So while these floors dry, I'm gonna continue sweeping keep moving things around and by the way I found a great place for my osmosis water under the benches alrighty let's get to sweeping mopping and all of those things Okay, so floors are done. I still need to do that area, but I'll do it when I leave the greenhouse. Uh, we're not done yet, but we have some problems. It's almost two o'clock, I'm kinda hungry. I'm gonna go have lunch, spend some time with baby bird, maybe take him for a nice bath, recharge the camera batteries, and if my boyfriend works late, then I'm gonna continue this when baby bird goes to bed. If not, then I guess I'll call it a day and I'll continue tomorrow. Case in which, thank you guys for joining me in the cleanup. At least we got this done. And tomorrow we're gonna do some arrangements and some improvements. It's gonna be probably a different video, a separate video, because there are quite a few things that I wanna do. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed cleaning with me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchids and plants videos and cleaning videos, apparently. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What should I do for the outro? What should I do? Okay, I'm gonna show you the Bariota. Too much light, right? Let's fix it. 
it's opening up its blooms. So pretty. I'm really excited about this guy. My old Bariota did a very funny thing. It wasn't funny for me, but maybe it was for him. It dropped flowers very, very fast. The last flower didn't get to open until the first flower faded. Everywhere I read that the flowers are long-lasting, but not for me. So I'm really curious to see what this guy does. 